In one of my previous videos, you can see right here, I did a comparison between a generic Chinese carbon fiber case, the Eastman cello case, and the BAM or BAM cello case we have here. And I didn't actually highlight what I wanted to being the reasons why the BAM mark is just the better of all of them. So here you have the classic and the new tech. This one has wheels and this one does not. On their face, they look almost identical when it comes to their dimensions. This one, as you see, when it comes to their heights, the heights are almost identical, as you see that right there. And their widths are also almost identical, which is great because if you want to use the big boy the flight case, then I suggest that you get one of these forms. Looking at the rear of these cases, Again, the dimensions are quite similar. We have here the recessed handle on the new tech, which you can use for rolling it around, which is nice and convenient. This one has none of that. So you have to pick it up at all times in order to carry it around. I've talked about the similarities, which you have now seen, now let's get into the details, the differences, and the reason why, if you can, get the new tech over the classic. How many locks does it take? There's no wheels, so you have to set it down carefully. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight latches. It opens up wonderfully, and of course my student has protected her cello with Scarf, she is French. <laughs> a towel, that over there, and her bow. Let's jump in and take a closer look at this wonderful case. Here we have the top of the Balm Classique. Same protection right here you have. I want you to notice something. I'm just touching this. I want you to notice how flimsy it is. In order to save weight, this cello case is not very secure. See this? This is something the manufacturer, and I don't think anyone else on YouTube will show you, just how flimsy it is. Now as an ensemble with the entire case together, it is safe for your cello, but again, look at that. Continuing down, we have the same design as the new tech to safely keep your bow, these Velcro straps. So classic, you don't really have to mess with that. Further down, the sponge to save your end pin and your tailpiece. And I want you to notice that this cello is quite wide because this cello is a Montagnana, thicker cello. Coming down here at the bottom, we have that wonderful strap I absolutely love to secure your end pin during travel. I want to remove this cello and show you what it's like underneath it. The interior of the Bam Classique. Let's go in close. As you notice, we have a pouch right here for music, which she has put into me. Well, let's see what she's practicing. She's practicing the Nocturnal by Goltemann. You have this pad here, and you need that because right here, it's rather firm. A nice pad right here, same as the new tech. Looking here at the side walls, you have a spongy sort of material. Nice. And here are the joints as well. Nice and covered. This has been used again for six years. This is six years of wear on this wonderful BAM case. Up here you have the pad for the back of your body. Moving on to the new tech, I'm gonna put it on its side and remove my cello. Let's figure out even a point of view. One, two, three, four, five, opens easily, very easily. The inside right here is nice and covered in velour, this felt stuff, it's really, really nice. And you have padding only where you need it. 
So on the, on the BAM Classique, you had it all along, but here you have on the most important places, right here. So not only is this uh, covered, it's also padded. Here, here, here. Again, eight years of wear and tear, look at this. Never has ever let me down. Here are them side by side open up, and my student has told me she has absolute zero confidence in this ever staying up, and especially with her cello, a bow in it. So we're gonna go and I'll show you what I mean. Again. Look how it wobbles. The same thing, same finger. Another thing I want to share with you is how these cases perform in real life, IRL. First off, the BAM here has no wheels, so you are obligated to carry it at all times. You either carry it like this, or you can carry it like this, walking around. So that's it, nothing special. Now the, the new tech gives you the option of rolling it around. Yes, you can carry it like this, again, which is my preferred method of carrying it. And I only have these here because for the video, I never use these, ever, ever use these. Because, well, if you ever go into concert and have your tuxedo on, this wrinkles your shirt. Just remember that. Or your blouse. And so I usually just carry it like this. The wheels though, make a wonderful option for rolling your instrument around, which is just a fantastic option, which is actually my preferred method of usage. Another thing about these cases that you are guaranteed to be able to use is when you ever have to fly with them. And that's what is going to set the BAM mark head and shoulders far above any other mark of cello case you can possibly buy. And with that said, we need to bring out the big boy. <laughs> this is the big boy. This is the BAM original flight case. This case right here, along with the new tech, protected my wonderful Italian cello on the trip from San Francisco to France. I had 100% confidence in the technology and I would do it again, really with any destination in the world. Mark you, the airline matters. I flew Air France. For more information about the flight case, I did a separate review on that and there's a card in the top right of your screen if you want to look more detailed into this case. I can tell you with confidence that these cello cases, regardless if it's a classic, a new tech, or a high tech, these cases changed everything. Because during my youth, if you had a hard case, there was only one choice, and that was the boba lock. You know what I'm talking about. When you came walking to your school with that case, it was heavy but it was a sort of attestation that you had something nice inside that case. Then BAM came around, BAM, and changed the entire game. Hard cases could be light. Hard cases could have wheels. So do yourself a favor, if you're here for the long run, and you're joining us on the long journey of cello, welcome. Regardless if it's a trade cello, a German cello, or an Italian cello, I don't care or even if it's a Cecilio Black cello. If you've seen that review, check it out. Even if it's a $150, $200 cello you got on Amazon, it's your cello. You should protect it. And if you want to move on in this world and you're thinking about a hard case, look no further than BAM Original, Fabrique en France. Thank you for watching my video today about the BAM Original Cello Case. If you want to learn more, consider subscribing because I upload not only gear reviews, but also covers, lessons throughout every single week. So consider subscribing. 
And if you know someone looking for a hard cello case, why don't you share this with them? I hope this will help them in their decision making, and maybe you as well. I want to thank you once more for watching, and stick around. I think we're all going to learn a lot.